Well, once you've got this broccoli seed and you plant it, it grows. And it grows first into a sprout, about like this. And from a sprout, it grows into um, the cotyledon or the true leaf stage, which is a microgreen, usually about this tall, mm, three, four inches, sometimes more. This is a um, mixture of arugula and rambo radish. This is what we use in our smoothie every day, as you can see where I've been trimming. Then we also have uh, Ben, my dog's favorite. This is a uh, mixture of broccoli and kohlrabi. Then we have dill. This is red Reuben basil, lemon mint, cilantro. This is nasturtium. It's a microgreen version of the flower. It is very, very peppery. Then we have kale. leeks. These leeks are really oniony. I can grow anything you'd like. It might take a, one to three weeks to uh, get it to you, depending on what they are. But let me know if you want any of these, or if you have any special requests. Microgreens contain from 4 to 40 times the nutritional value of their adult counterparts. In this case, the broccoli is 40 times the nutritional value of its adult counterpart. What happens is you don't have that one bug that loves to eat carrots attack and come in and eat all your carrots so that you have to add more uh, pesticide and then you have to add herbicide and you get all these things set into motion that cause for a greater decay of the environment. Not with microgreens, especially if they're grown vertically indoor hydroponically with LEDs, which is the way I grow them.
and to be concerned with our health as well. So that's what I wanted to share with you today about growing, eating, and harvesting microgreens.